I got a juice, juice. Ha. Juice, juice, juice. Said I got the All right, it's your girl Milan here, and we got Chrissy Bands in the studio with us tonight. Yes, big Hi, Brooklyn Chrissy. in the house. Hey, hey, thank you for having me. How are you today? I'm good. I'm doing really good. I'm blessed to be here. Um, yeah, it's a dope platform, and we outside. All right, so. Chrissy, tell us a little bit, like, take us back to the beginning, like, where are you from, where'd you grow up? So, I'm from Brooklyn, I grew up in the 90s, it's like close to Brownsville, but, you know, we East Flatbush, but, um, yeah, that's where I'm from, and, um, I'm just here to show you who I am, tell y'all who I am if y'all don't already know. Okay, so, how has growing up in Brooklyn, like, influenced you, um, as an artist so far? I would say just the, um, you know, the hood experience, the the good and the bad experiences all in one. Um, it just gave me confidence. It just gave me tough skin. And I just be ready for anything. Okay, so Chrissy Bands. What is Chrissy Bands? Where did that come from? How did you come up with that moniker? So my name is Crystal, and um, I'm always chasing the bands, the millions. Mm -hmm. So that's really where that came from. Like, I'm just focused on, you know, the money to live a great life. You know, take care of my family, friends, and yeah, that's, that's where that really came from. So you have a lot of accomplishments so far in your, you know, career. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one thing is, you know, you're one of the first female rappers on Fuse TV's Weekly News Wrap Up, right? Yeah. So tell us about that experience and getting these things not just on your belt so early in your career. So that was like... Like I said, I always look, I always count my blessings. So that was just a great experience for Fuse TV. Like we all watch Fuse TV, you know what I'm saying? And to get booked not once but twice for their platform, that was super dope. And um, it was, it gave me some practice, you know, to like, cause I basically had to have that ready in 24 hours. And it's like, you gotta take pieces from news, uh, you know, that has happened within that week and put it all together and make it into a rap in 24 hours. So. And then you gotta read the prompt, like, you know? So that was, that was, it was a challenge, but I got through it, so. Okay, so, so far, you know, with your career, that you've been in your career, what are some challenges, you know, you've been facing? Some wins and some losses that you've been facing so far? Uh, well, I definitely, unfortunately, um, experienced the whole bad manager kind of thing. I had to get rid of that. Um, and other than that, just like, you know, being a female, sometimes, you know, guys have different intentions than what you have. And it's like, it's like kind of a setback to get your hopes up for certain things. Um, I think all females go through that in the industry, but you just gotta have tough skin and you just gotta keep it pushing and show them why you're different. You know, never fall for that shit, so. So elaborate more on that, cause that's very important. And a lot of women go through that process, especially, you know, trying to come up and create a name so how does that make you feel does it discourage you or any way it discourages me a little bit but it, it um, inspires me more it makes me just want to be like I, I got something for you because unfortunately like these days they just respect people that's already up there that's already on you know so once I just show and prove it's like yeah nigga, you remember like now you can't even spin the block so it inspires me to just go harder Okay, so, you know, so far, you know, being a, you know, female rapper, that's already tough in itself. So, do you feel like there is more against females nowadays, even though they're kind of taking over music and kind of been spearheading music so far? Do you think that still works against you in any way? I think a little bit, but not, like, like, I like to overcome things, and I'm very strong, so I just feel like it just... It doesn't really affect me as much anymore. Like I said, it just keeps me focused and it just makes me want to just prove everybody wrong kind of thing, like, so, yeah. So what makes you stand out? Like there's so many, you know, new girls coming up every day, every hour, so many. So what makes you stand out? What makes you think that, okay, I can really kind of get to the top of the food chain when it comes to, you know, the girl in the girl space? Well, I think I stand out because I feel like I have the whole package. I see these, these female rappers out here that can rap, but they're not pretty. Or they're pretty, but they can't rap. They're not versatile. They can't do reggae, pop, 
Like, you know, and they don't have bars. A lot of these females don't have like bars. I feel like I can stand with a lot of the big dogs in the industry. Like, you know, when it comes to, um, uh, with, oh shit. Yeah. When it comes to lyricism. When it comes to lyricism, like, I feel like I got that down pat. And I feel like a lot of females that are lyricists right now don't look like me. So, yeah. So you mentioned lyricism, which is very important, which is very controversial because a lot of female girl rappers might not write their music and is kind of maybe built, which is nothing wrong with it, but how do you feel about kind of more of that organic come up and, you know, writing your own music, being in tune with who you are as an artist and your producers and things? How do you um, kind of fit into that? So I would just say, like, I respect everyone's craft. But me as a lyricist, somebody that likes to like, you know, spit bars, I'd rather a female or a rapper period write their own music. You know, I, I'm, I'm all here for authenticity, originality. That's, that's what I stand on. So like, I respect that more. It's, don't get me wrong, I don't have an issue with it. I respect it as well, but I respect originality more. Like, cause I write all my raps. No one has ever written for me. So yeah, that's just my opinion on that. So as a New York artist, New York primarily New York based artist, do you feel like it's hard trying to get up out of New York or kind of get past the New York barrier? I do feel like it's a little hard because there's so many rappers. Everybody wants to rap and most of the people sound the same. Everybody's doing the same thing. They're linking the same people. You know what I'm saying? It is a little hard and as everyone always says, New York don't support each other as much as you know the other states and things like that. I'll go out of state. They show me love in New York, too, of course, cause, you know what I'm saying? But I go out of state and get that automatic love, like, they don't even know who I am, you know? So, I think that's that's a saying about New York. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, what has been maybe an experience so far that has maybe left a bad taste in your mouth and you're just like, you know what, I don't think I want to, you know, move forward with this anymore? Um, I would say the manager thing. Like, my manager was stealing from my tune core, oh, and it wow. kind of scarred me a little bit because it was just like, we came in this together. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, he helped me out a lot, but that really set me back. I had to get rid of him. I had to, like, revamp my whole thing, and then my original Instagram got deleted. So it was just, like, a domino effect of things that kind of scarred me in that year. And I took, like, a little break. You know what I'm saying? I just had to really get back to myself. But... It made me tougher, you know, if it don't make you, it break you. So it didn't break me. So yeah, I'm just I just I just gotta keep going. Time is not on my side, you know what I'm saying? Right. So how would you describe your artistry? Like if you know, we didn't know you or know your face, like and you were coming on the radio, who would we who would we think of? Um, I would say like like a female biggie kind of thing, like Okay. Like I'll go back to the word authenticity, like that's really like I just want that. Like I feel like that word represents me. Like, and I'm I'm just different. I feel like I, I haven't seen any female rapper like me yet. So that's just how I feel. So, like you said, there are so many girls and so many you know up and coming you know female rappers. So if you could give me like your if you could collaborate, it is a collaborative female rapper mixtape, right? And you could pick five girls, old, new, upcoming, underground, mainstream, who would you want to collaborate on that project with? I would say Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Little Kim, Eve, I get compared to her a lot, and number five, number five would have to be Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown? Mm -hmm. I love Foxy. Yeah, definitely. She's a super baddie. She, I wish she was still like you know, mm -hmm. taking over right now. But you know how that goes. <laughs> okay, so you know you just named amazing five amazing women. Um, so do you feel like you ever hear this trendy term of a girl's girl? Are you a girl's girl? Definitely just, a girl's girl. Definitely a girl's girl. However, to an extent, to because an extent. a lot of females, I'm. I feel like I read people energy very well and I get I get like that side eye a lot. I don't know if it's because like my aura intimidates or just make a bitch be like, why she's so 
like unbothered kind of thing, like you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm definitely a girl's girl. Other than that, you know what I'm saying. But when it when I peep that energy, I'm like my my guard goes up, like you know. Yeah, definitely a girl's girl though. Okay, so tell us what, any up and coming projects you have working on, or that you're you know cooking up right now. Yeah, so I have two new dope songs that I'm working on, and I'm just basically planning for that to be like the songs of the summer. Once I feel like I've gotten back to where I was before I lost my Instagram, that's when I want to drop a project. Like, I just want, I, I'm just trying to like get that hit. I need that one hit and I'm out of here. Like, you know, that's all it takes. So that's, that's what I'm working on right now, making that hit. Okay, so before I let you go, Chrissy Mans, please tell us why you still got the juice. Oh, I still got the juice because I'm still here after everything I've been through and I'm going to keep going. And I've been had the juice. I'm always had the juice. And yeah, just stay tuned, please. You're going to see why I got the juice. <laughs> and let us know where we could keep up with you at. So you can follow me on Instagram, Chrissy Bands. Uh, all platforms, Chrissy Bands, Spotify, Tidal, iTunes, YouTube. There's like 30 plus videos up there. Um, yeah, just remember that name, Chrissy Bands, if you don't already know it. We outside, Big Brooklyn. Chrissy Brand still got the juice. That's a wrap. Thank you.